First, uh, I would like to remind you that um, going back to the UKPDS study, uh, it took us uh, 20 years to be able to promise our patients that treating diabetes would benefit to the risk reduction for the cardiovascular disease. So the major challenge for a cardiovascular outcome study is the design of the study itself. So these studies are event driven. So in order to come up with a result, we need to get to have some uh, major events. Thus, the um, healthier the subjects we include in the study, the longer the time we need to take some results. So uh, actually, one of the major challenges is uh, the study design and the study population. The results of the new uh, cardiovascular outcome trials not only just influence the way we treat type 2 diabetes, they completely change the concept from uh, the glycocentric concept of treating diabetes to a cardio renal metabolic concept of, of treating diabetes. And uh, this actually have changed uh, recently the guidelines, the ADA, ASD guidelines have changed the way we treat people um, according to his uh, cardiovascular risk status. So it's really uh, a breakthrough, the way we are kind of thinking of how we treat patients with uh, type 2 diabetes nowadays. And I'm sure that um, the future is going to be brilliant. Well, the brilliance of a Rewind study is actually its design. Uh, it is um, the largest um, uh, CVOD trial study with a GLP-1 analog, including around 10,000 people. And um, actually, uh, most of the people um, do not have established cardiovascular disease. Only 30% uh, of the population of the study had uh, established cardiovascular disease, while the rest of the population just had uh, some risk factors for cardiovascular disease. So actually, uh, the time also uh, of the follow-up for the study is another positive for the design of the study, which is um, more than five years follow-up. The study has started uh, back in 2011 and uh, uh, we are looking forward with some exciting results. So there was a press release back in November 2018 stating that um, dulaglutide uh, pres presents superiority towards uh, uh, the cardiovascular risk reduction in a broad range of people with diabetes uh, succeeding the primary outcome of the study. So we don't know numbers yet, but what we anticipate is first that we're going to have a benefit of cardiovascular risk reduction uh, to people that already have experienced a major cardiovascular uh, event, uh, to the people with established cardiovascular risk. But at the same time, we're anticipating possibly to have uh, a benefit for the primary prevention for, uh, for cardiovascular disease in people that uh, only have some risk factors in type 2 diabetes and uh, do not have established cardiovascular disease. Actually, uh, I hope that um, uh, uh, tomorrow uh, we're going to be excited with uh, the results of this trial. It's always a pleasure to, to come to the United States and attend this uh, a global meeting and have the opportunity to get together with uh, colleagues of ours uh, from all over the world and uh, also share our knowledge and share experiences. And actually, this year, we had a lot of things that we are uh, anticipating, uh, the, the Carmelina study, uh, the um, uh, some outcomes from the DECLARE study, the REWIND study, and other studies. I believe that the next few days are going to be very exciting.